Today's going to be a little different. I'm going on a camping trip pretty soon, and we're going to be absolutely in the middle of nowhere. And I'm a little concerned about losing power for my rechargeable electronics. So, being the completely sane person that I am, I went on AliExpress and I picked up a solar panel. But, I know for a fact they're lying because they claimed it was a 100 watt solar panel for like $8. That makes no sense to me. I'll be happy if this thing puts out half an amp, which is, I believe, roughly 10 watts? Something like that? I'll be completely happy if that happens, and clouds just went over the sun. But, to test it, I have this. It's pretty simple. It tells you the output voltage, and then when you plug a device into it, it'll tell you the pass-through amperage. Pretty simple. Now for the device, I also have something kind of unique. I put this together. This is a DIY power bank. It has eight 18650 cells inside it. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to open it back up now that I've closed it. Probably should have thought of that earlier. But it's nice. Two outputs, three inputs, and I can already tell you that it has some weird behavior because charging over uh, micro USB is faster than charging over USB-C. Not really sure why, but it's a thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this over micro USB and uh, plug this into this. Now of course it was super sunny moments ago and now it's cloudy but I can already tell that the solar panel at least does function even though it's uh, suddenly cloudy. Yeah we're gonna wait until the sun comes back out. But while we wait I can tell you about the other part of the test because that's not the only solar panel that I bought. I picked this up as well. Now I'm going with my wife and I want her to be able to use her electronics reliably and I don't want her to have to rely on the AliExpress special that I picked up. So this was about $35 on Amazon. It's from Oxsun and it makes a more respectable claim of 21 watts. I Goodness, I might actually believe that too, if it weren't for the fact that this little charging dongle here looks mighty similar to the one on the back of here. Almost like they were made by the same manufacturer. But as soon as the sun comes back out, we're going to go ahead and try this out. It's uh, kind of funny that it immediately went behind the cloud the moment I hit record. Well, the sun came back, took a little bit. We're going to go ahead and test this out. So first things first, let's see what we get. Hey, that's not bad. That's over half an amp. And this probably isn't the most ideal circumstances, it's just... You know, I'm happy with that. Now let's try the other one. while we still have sun. Now the only major advantage of this one other than the potential for having a higher output is the fact that it also outputs over USB-C. It may output more over USB-C, I don't know. Uh, the sun really wants to fade again. But, let's see what we get. Yeah, that sun is almost fading come on <laughs> I guess we'll wait another minute okay sun's back again so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and see what we get over half an app actually it's reading about the same as the other more now bit of a voltage drop, but that's to be expected when you're charging something, and the sun's gone. Okay, but we got our numbers. The highest I saw on this one here was 0 0.63 amps, and that's probably not ideal. It may also output more over USB-C, I don't know. 
Highest I saw on the AliExpress Special was 0.55 amps. Again, neither of these were under perfect circumstances. I am happy with both purchases. This one especially because it'll honestly probably last longer if nothing else. And uh, it'll probably be much more reliable for the person I actually care about. So yeah. I know this has been a little bit of a different video and probably a lot shorter. But I don't think I can stretch solar panels out to an hour. Now I do have another one of these on the way. Something much smaller. And that one I probably will make a little bit of a review about. Because I am very, very happy with anything DIY. You know... If these cells start to go bad, I can just pop this open and put new cells in. Much less wasteful. Before I let you go, though, I do want to thank Sean Patrick for uh, subscribing on the Patreon. I have behind the scenes on my Patreon, as well as extended cuts and cleaning montages, if that's what you're into. Thank you very much for watching.